Hey everybody, welcome to the Off The Shelf Board Game Review YouTube channel over here on YouTube. And this week we're going to start a video series with my top 51 board games of all time. Now I want to emphasize two things. One, this is going to be the top board games of all time in my opinion. Not top tabletop games, which is a different series I think I'm going to do when I'm actually done shooting this. I think I'm going to do my top 15. Or let's go crazy. How about top 17 tabletop games of all time? But this video series is going to be my top 51 board games of all time. I'm going to basically count them from 51 all the way down to 1. I'm going to do a separate set of videos. Each video should be 10 videos total. Except the first one is obviously going to have 11 videos on it. But here's the trick of this and a couple things I need to explain. One, everyone's asking, well, why are you doing 51? Are you just trying to be a rebel or what? Yeah, rebel. No, just kidding. Anyways, the reason why I'm doing 51 videos is because... As our hobby continues to grow, we're starting to kind of rub elbows with the RPGers. And the RPGers, well, as their hobby continues to grow, well, they're starting to rub elbows with us also. And we're starting to get to the point where we're having a lot of board games which are really crossing over into the RPG realm. And we're starting to see a lot of RPGs that have made the jump fully or almost fully into the board game realm. Now, if you want me to bore you to tears, I can give you a whole bunch of examples of games that have gone back and forth. Let's look at the board game Ace Detective. And let's look at the RPG. Oops, not going to say it because it's actually on my list of top 51 games. So the reason why I'm doing 51 games is because I do have an RPG that has kind of jumped over the ship or across the line over into the board game realm. And I think it fits perfectly and it can be enjoyed by anybody who is a board gamer. Matter of fact, when I hear people saying, what is a really good RPG to get some board gamers into? This is the RPG that's the very first RPG that pops in my head. So... This is why I'm doing 51 games. If you have heartburn about that, if you're really upset that I'm throwing an RPG on this list, well, go ahead and delete it. It's going to be in the top 20 series. So once we get to the top 20, that's where it will be. Go ahead and exit off the list and move 51 to 50, and then you can have my top 50 board games of all time. Now, this is going to be a really interesting list for me to make for a couple reasons. And the big one is, is every time I do my videos, my review videos for all the board games for my channel, I like to do every one of my reviews let's ignore the whole objective subjective argument for a second here because it's an argument i don't like getting involved with anyways and let's just look at the facts here when i do a video i like to sit down and discuss who is that board game for who's a target audience for that board game and will that target audience like that game or not and how does it work for the kind of games they like so this is a complete series where i get to talk all about me all about my favorites and what board games i like and why i like these board games and as you're going to go through this list, you're going to see my biases. And one of the biggest biases I need to throw out there right now is the fact that I am not a huge two-player board gamer. Matter of fact, for a two-player board game to make it on my list, it nearly needs to walk on water. And yes, there's a two-player board game on my list. But if I look, and I'm going to do a double check. That's why I got my surface here, just to make sure. But I went over the list very quick before I started filming, and I think it is the only two-player game on my entire list out of all these board games there's 51 board games on this list and only one of them is a two-player game so it's not because two-player games are bad matter of fact i can think of a lot of two-player games that should be very high on anybody's list because they're fantastic two-player games i'm not a two-player gamer matter of fact i own tons of games workshop games and it's very common for us to try to make those three-player games because that's the smallest size of my player group is three players heck when we play even space hulk Usually one person controls the aliens and two other players will split up the marines and they will take their turns controlling the marines. And when we play some of the other games, we just have a tendency to do that. And I just lied to you. Technically, two of my games are two-player only, but one of those two-player games, and eh, it's got kind of a campaign system to it that makes it a more than two-player game. So technically, I kind of slide under the radar there. So I can't believe I even forgot that one, but oh well. Anyways, my point is I'm not a huge two-player gamer, so you're not going to find a lot of two-player games on this list. If you want to see somebody who can recommend a lot of fantastic two-player games, go check out Rado Runs Through, R-A-H-D-O. I'll put a link down in the show notes here. Rado is a fantastic reviewer. He's had his review channel for a long, long time. He has tons of subscribers. He does a great job. He's a little bit frenetic, but hey, I kind of enjoy that about him, and he can kind of be a little bit all over the place sometimes as he gets really, really excited. But you know what? This is a good hobby. This is a great hobby to be enthusiastic for. And thumbs up to Rado because he does a fantastic job. If you want to see some great two-player games, go follow his channel. You're going to get a lot of great recommendations from him. 
So, having said that, gotten that big caveat out of the way, this is a list of my top 51 games. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Get, get ready. Get tuned because we're going to start throwing a whole bunch of series of videos. We're going to top games. We're going to break this list out from 51 to 50. Sorry, I just completely failed at math. Laugh at me now because it's actually quite funny. How about from 51 to 41? Then we'll do from 40 to 31, 30 to 21, 20 to 11, and then 10 to 1. That'll be the complete series. Then I think I'm going to throw an extra video at the end where I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of self-analytical. Look at all the games. Look at how many games I enjoy. And look at the fact that a lot of my games are definitely not part of Cult of the New. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you leave them down in the YouTube comments down below. I will definitely be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. You can also feel free to email me at off the shelf board game reviews. That's O-T-S-B-G-R at gmail.com. If you enjoy the channel, you enjoy the content, think about tossing a dollar over in the tip jar over at Patreon. That's patreon.com slash O-T-S-B-G-R. If you enjoy this video, you enjoy the video series, click that like button, click that subscribe button, because your likes and subscriptions do matter to me. Thanks for watching.